Hello, kindergarten, Mr. Cisneros again uh, here with you guys. And today we are going to work on math one more time. So mathematicians, get your brains ready. As always, I will uh, share my screen with you so we can start for our uh, topic of the day. So today we're going to talk about numbers, all the numbers in your brain. Can you tell me one number in your brain? Five, six, seven, eight. You're right. But we're going to talk about numbers before and after. I know yesterday we talked about numbers before and after. Now, last time we talked about numbers before. Do you remember what the word before? Or means. Hmm, take a moment. You're right. Before means one less or backwards. Today we're gonna talk about numbers after. Before we start, are you ready? You need three things. Now I'll give you three seconds to get paper, to get pencil, and to find twenty objects around your house it could be 20 grams it could be 20 pennies it could be 20 cereal rice legos 20 toys that you have around your house but this time you need to find 20. are you ready i'll give you three minutes to find 20 20 20. So make sure you find 20 objects Remember, you need a paper, you need a pencil, you need 20 objects or 20 crayons, 20 pennies, 20 dolls. Or if you have markers, you can use 20 markers. Uh, you can use 20, I don't know, marbles. Do you have marbles at home? Or you have Legos? or you have uh, i don't know if you have 20 pencils you can definitely use 20. so make sure when you're uh, getting those objects those items you need to make sure you count all the way to 20. are you ready we can do it together if you want ready count one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Make sure you have twenty objects. You still have one minute and thirty seconds to find all the materials you need for today's lesson. Remember, if you don't have a white paper, it's okay. Just grab any piece of paper that you can find at home. If you have a color paper, I have a color paper right here. Mine is green. You can use the green paper, it's okay. We just need something to write on. And if you don't have a pencil, but you have a pen just like me, you can use that too. You have one minute to get ready. One minute to get ready. Sure you have a paper, something to write with. It could be a pencil, it could be a pen, it could be a marker too. And find 20 objects, 20 objects. You have 30 more seconds. Get your brains ready. Get your bodies ready. Get your mathematician's hat on because we're going to talk about numbers today. Numbers that come after and also before. Three, two, one. Good job. Now, before we get to talk about all the numbers, I want to read to you this story. This 
story with the permission of scholastics is called one, two, three, peace. Mm -hmm. I want you to look up and look at the picture right here, the cover of the book. Mm -hmm. What do you think this book is going to be about? Mm -hmm. Peace, okay, that's a great idea. Numbers, that's a great idea too. You see numbers one, two, three, right? So yeah, those, that's, those are good ideas, good guesses about what this book is going to be about. So get ready. We're going to talk about this book today. One P searching. Look, look, look. Two P fishing. Hook, hook, hook. Three P boating. Row, row, row. Four P planting. Grow, grow, grow. Five P painting. Brush, brush, brush. Six P traveling. Rush, rush, rush. Seven piece splash, dumping, splash, splash, splash. Eight piece racing, rush, rush, rush. Nine piece dancing, round, round, round. Ten piece building, pound, pound, pound. Good counting. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, skipping, skipping, skipping. It actually says skip, skip, skip. And now we get to number 20. 20 P scouting. Thirty piece hunting beep beep beep. Hmm. You notice we went from twenty to thirty. Hmm. Are we counting by ones now, like we did with eleven all the way to nineteen? No, are we counting by tens? You're right. Twenty, and then we we'll go to thirty. I wonder what number after 30. We're going to see. Mm. If you say 40, you're right. 40. Peace. Napping. Sleep. 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 You know what number comes next? 50. 50. Peace. Puzzling. How? 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 60, 60, he's watching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, what are they watching? Yeah, you're right, they're watching fireworks. Ooh, 70, 70, he's singing. La, la, la. 80, he's laughing. Ha, ha, ha. What number do you think comes after 80? 70, 80, 90, 90. He's floating free, 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 all the way up in the sky. And now we get to number 30. No, number 100, 100. 100 is counting. And then one, two, three, count again. Yeah, because you can go 100 and one, 100 and two, 100 and three. Right, I hope you enjoy this book just like I did. Now, we were counting numbers forward, right? Did you notice that? Yeah. Mm. Do you know why? Because today we are going to talk about numbers that come after. Everybody say after. Remember yesterday we said before, and we said before means backward, right? One less. 
So let's say after together again, one more time. Ready? After. Let's say after crying. After. Let's say after really happy. Ready? After. Let's say after like robot. After. Good. But my question for you is, what do you think the word after means? Hmm. Take a moment to think. From the book that we read, we notice that the numbers are going forward, right? They're going by tens, and, but before all the way that we're going by once, and then we're moving forward, forward, forward. forward. So what do you think after me? So I want you to keep that in your brain, okay? Keep that in your brain. After also can mean forward. You say that with me? Forward. Forward. Excellent. Now, before we go to after, let's review. Review. Before. Remember, before means backward. Now, I have six. Five, mm, six, five, mm. what number is missing? What number should be right there before five? Take a moment. Three, two, one. Do you know? It's number four. Number four comes right after. Let's do another one. I have 10, 9, mm, 10, 9, mm. What number comes right before 9? Take a moment to think. 3, 2, you ready to check? You said number 8, you're right. Number 8 comes right before Today, we're going to talk just about the numbers that come after. Okay. When you really know that the numbers that come before, you move backward. So the number that comes after, you move forward. So just like this, number five. Number five is right here. Now, if I jump one time forward, that's the number that will come after. So it's going to find together. Ready? Let's jump all the way one time forward. What number do we land it on? Number six, because number six is the number that comes right after five. Let's do one together, one more. Oh, I have number seven. Let's point to number seven together, ready? Point to number seven. Now, we're gonna jump one more so we can find a number that comes Right after seven. Ready? Use your pointer finger and jump one time. That's number eight. You're right. That's why I circle number eight because number eight comes right after number seven. Right after number seven. You have number eight. Let's practice one. Ready? We'll see how the ball lands. We see. In lands on number seven. You already know that one. Okay, hey, ready? It's number seven. You have your finger there? Okay, good. Now we're gonna jump one time forward. Are you ready? And jump. What number did you land it on? Did you land it? Is our number eight? You're right because number eight is the number that comes right after seven. Good job. Let's try another one. Ready? Where should it land? Where should it land? Oh, number one. It landed on number one. Are you ready? Point your finger pointer out and point to number one. Do you have it right there? Good. Now we're gonna jump one time forward. One more forward. Are you ready? Get your pointer finger ready, and let's jump one time. Ready, go, boom. What number did you land it on? You landed on 
under number two, that's right. Because number two is the number that comes right after one. Let's practice one more. Ready? Nine. Okay, put your uh, finger and point to number nine. Do you have your finger there? Okay, good, excellent. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna jump one time forward so we can find a number that comes right after nine. Are you ready? Put your pointer, finger ready. Let's jump one time, ready, go and bow. What number did we land it on? We landed on number 10 because that's the number that comes right after nine. Good job. Now, time to talk. Time to turn and talk. Do you remember what that means? Yeah, you turn to your partner. We were in our classroom. We were in our carpet. We were turned to talk. But guess what? We're not in our classroom, and that's for sure. But you have people around you at your house. So can you turn and talk with somebody near you? But before you do that, the question is, what do you notice? What do you see about the numbers that come after? What do you notice? What do you see about the numbers that come after? Take a moment to think. Get your idea ready. Do you have your, your idea ready? Okay, put in your way. Now, when you, when I say turn and talk, you can use this sentence with me. I notice that. Or you can say, I think, and then you share your idea. Are you ready? I'll give you 10 seconds to turn and talk to your mom or your dad or anybody that is at your house. And can you share what you notice about the numbers that come right after? Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Turn and talk. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10. Come back to me, friends. What do you notice? Can you share your ideas with me? What do you notice about the numbers that come right after? Mm, those, those are great ideas. If you say that you notice that the numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, mm, if you say that every time we go right after, it's one more, Whoa, mathematicians, you guys are so smart. You notice everything that you need to know about the numbers that comes right after. Every time we move forward, we move forward one more. Let's say it together. One more. After means one more. So guess what? We are going to use our 20 objects. Remember at the beginning of this video, I told you we were going to need 20 objects. So get your objects ready because we are going to use them so we can count and then we can find the numbers that come right after. Oops, that's another one that I wanted to share. Let's try that again. Get your collections ready. Oh, I have my collections ready. But before we, I go to the cards, let me start with this one. My counters. Okay. Get your papers ready. Get your pencil ready and get your collection ready. Now we're going to use my computer dots. Ready? Let's click on it. What number do you see? Oh, you see number three. You're right. One. Let's count. Two and three. So I will get my pencil or my pen and I will write 
the number that I just wrote. And now I'm using my counters. Well, I have counters here, but I bet you have points right in front of you, or you have crayons or markers. So can you count me all the way to 10? I will use red this time. Ready? Well, not to 10, to three. Ready? One, two, three. Good. We have the number three here, and we have three red circles. Now, we need to find out what number comes after three. What number comes right after three? Hmm. Let's use our brain. Because we, as mathematicians, we always thinking about the numbers. What number do you think will come right after 10? Remember, after means one more. Hmm. So three. Are you thinking about the number that I'm thinking? Okay, let's see, ready? Are you thinking about this number? Yeah, you're right. Number four, three, four. Four is the number that comes right after three. Okay, clean up your space. I'm gonna do one more, or actually two more. Okay, now this time I have cars. Now, let's count the cars together to find out one number we're gonna work with. Are you ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, get your pencil ready and write number eight because we counted eight cars. There are different cars, you're right, but they're all cars, right? We have eight toy cars. Get your mathematician's hat on. Your thinking mathematician's hat. Now, we need to find the number that comes right after A. So let's think, let's think A, mm, A, mm. remember after means one more, A, a number. So you have a number in your, in your brain? Okay, ready? I will write the number and let's see if you were correct, ready? You write it when you're thinking about the number that I'm writing. Yes. Did you say number nine? You are correct. A nine. A nine. Good. Let's do one more. Clean up your space area. And let's get one more. Now, this time I will use bears. Now, we need to count the bears so we can know the number that we're working with. Ready? Let's count together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's write a number. Now, can you do the same thing with your objects? Can you count ten objects? I'll give you a moment to do that. I hope you have ten objects in front of you. Now, we need to think one more time. If I know after means one more, what number comes right after 10? Mm. 10, 10, mm. I know. Did you say number 11? 10, 11, 10, 11. You're right. Mathematicians, you did a wonderful job. You can keep practicing with your objects to count one number and then try to figure out one number comes right after. Now, before I say we are done for today, I want to show you one more game that we can do together. Now, I want you to try this on your own. Are you ready? Now, if you have a dice at home, you can do it with a dice. But if you do not have a dice, you can ask anybody at your house to give you a number that you can work with. Okay, let me show it to you. Okay, ready? Now, for this, you will need 
your paper, your counting materials, and your pencil. And now, I will use a dice because I have a dice on my computer. But if you do not have, if you do not have a dice at home, it's okay. Just ask someone to give you any number, and then you write it. Okay, ready? Let's roll the dice. One, two, three. I'll write number three. Now, my job is to write the number that comes right after three. So I know in my brain that three, mm, I know the number. You know the number that comes right after three? Yeah, it's four. Three, four. Three, four. Let's try one more. This time, we're not going to use the dice. I will pretend I do not have a dice. So I'm just going to ask anybody at home, and I will say, one number? Can you just give me one number? And they will say, number eight. So I will write number eight. Number eight. Now, what is your job, girls and boys? Your job is to write the number that comes right after the number that you're working with. This time we're working with the number eight. Now I need to find out what number comes right after eight. Eight, one more. Eight, one more. Are you thinking about this number? You were thinking about that number. Number nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Good. Now, I'm going to try one more, but this one's going to be really, really tricky. But I know, mathematicians, that you can do it, okay? Are you ready? Now, I'm thinking about this number. Ready? This is the number 14. Let's say it together. 14, 14. Now, what number comes right after the number 14? I will give you a moment to think. 14, 14, remember one more. Did you say 15? You're right, let's check, ready? 14, 15, 14, yeah, you're right. 15 comes right after 14. Mathematician, you did a wonderful job today. Remember, your job is to write any number that your mom or your dad or your sister or anybody at home can tell you. You write it and then you use your counting object and write the number that comes right after that number. I know you can do that. Mathematicians, I miss you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.